Welcome to Gummy. Hey, Joe, how are you? Good I got to you. patch it down, though, pal. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Got anything on you? Anything I should know? I got nothing. Anything weird going on? What the? All right, you go in, Tom. Good. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, I'm Tom Kelly of The Tom Kelly Show. Yes, this is not the only time I've gotten on my knees in the back room of a comedy club. The Not Dead Comedy Radio Show is also brought to you by Two Eagles Auto Body. For more than 25 years, Two Eagles Auto Body has been the leader in auto body repairs and customer satisfaction on Long Island. Two Eagles Auto Body handles every type of auto repair from custom applications and restorations to repairs involving insurance claims. Give Two Eagles Auto Body a call and please ask for John Rossi at 516-328-2527. That's 516-328-2527. Hey, how do you say there, people? It's Johnny Brennan, creator of the Jerky Boys, also of Fox TV's Family Guy fame. I just want to let you know you're listening to Tony on the Knock 'em Dead radio show. They're going to keep knocking them dead, so keep listening, you wacky sons of bitch. Uh, right there. Over and out there, sweet Charlie. Long time no see, man. Hey, man, I miss you guys, man, at Knock 'em Dead comedy radio. Kumbaya. Hey, Tony, you're not funny, and you probably shit yourself a lot, and you're no fun to be with, and you don't make that much money, and you're not going anywhere in show business, and I hope you get hit by a bus.
What's up, everybody? Me and Tony Walker Fresh. What's up, bud? Yo! We are heading right now into Connecticut uh, to Hartford to catch Red himself. What's his nickname? The Red what? The Red Rocker. The Red Rocker. Not the Red Rocket, like your dog has. <laughs> the Red Rocker. <laughs> I read that autobiography. That was a good autobiography. Uh, yeah, I read it too. I, I, I loved it. I yeah, loved Sammy it. Hagar, the Red Rocker. We're going to see him. Joe Satriani, Long Island Zone, and uh, John Bonham Jr., and um, Mark Anthony, right? <laughs> Is it John Bonham Jr.? <laughs> no. It's Jason Bonham. Oh, Jason Bonham. And Mark Anthony is the guy who's the guy who's married to J Lo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Anthony. Michael Anthony. Yeah. Van Halen bass player. Yeah. Yes. The, so it's going to be, uh, and they're playing all Van Halen songs, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm sure he's going to play. I can't drive 55. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to get some Sammy music in there too. If he plays 55, I'm going to show it right now. It's the 40th anniversary. Good tune, man. Yeah, Sammy Hagar. We already saw the concert. It's amazing. It, 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 so many people, like, it's so hard to get out of the place that it's the next day. You know, it's daylight. <laughs> Here's another thing that we're going to see in the future. <laughs> well, we're heading there now. It's going to be a fun night. We're having a blast. <laughs> Rocking and rolling, baby. Peace. All right, we're here. We got, we got the Bridgeport um, Islanders played back here in this arena. So they got this arena here. That's the total mortgage arena. And then we got over here the Hartford Amphitheater. Name, right Total here. Mortgage Arena. That's that doesn't say rock and roll, man. I don't know what does. Yeah, it's a weird. It's everything's corporately owned, <laughs> even the Hartford Healthcare Center uh, over here. But we're getting ready to go in. Doors open. We're a little early, but early bird gets the worm, right, Tony? Or good heart healthcare, health, Hartford healthcare. So maybe we get good healthcare if we're well, going early. I'm gonna go try to get a mortgage <laughs> with this place. <laughs> Almost red rocket time. <laughs> this place is kind of tricky. Look at that. You got the Gotham Burger. Gotham Burgers. Batman's gonna come out. This place is trippy, man. It's got cool lights, cool atmosphere. So far, I'm digging it. It's named after us over here. Uh, crispy Melky. That's us. That's what, he's crispy and I'm milky. <laughs> crispy and milky. Crispy and milky. He's crispy. I'm milky.
right, I got my uh, Road to Ruin. And I got Tony, he's rocking his Road to Ruin as well, the Agua H2O. And we're here at the, this is like the food court. See if he's eating on like little amps and all that stuff. The stage is right there. And uh, yeah, so this is a cool like, little intimate. It uh, only holds 6,000 people. 6,000 people here to see the Red Rocket. And uh, it, this is a, I actually really love this place so far. Yeah, me too, me too. I just hope the sound is good. That's my only problem. Like, I just wanna make sure the speakers and the, and the sound system yeah, works. Yeah, because like some of it, it, it's covered, but it's not completely covered. So yeah, so I'm curious to see how the sound is too, but. Yeah, so if it rains or anything, we might have coverage to some degree. I think the show will still go on. But yeah, I don't know if our section, if we're gonna get wet or not, but I, I think we're gonna be fine. So we went to the, when we first got here, we went to the ticket, the, the box office, and we explained to them that I didn't have handicapped seats, uh, but that's what I prefer because of, you know, because I'm handicapped. They handed us two handicapped seats. They said, enter the building, enter the theater with the tickets you originally had, then you use these, handicaps. so we kind of got in for free, kind of. We got two extra seats. We got two free seats, so hey, if everybody wants to come join us, we, we got you. But we're going to be up in the handicap section, um, and we're going to be rocking out to the Red Rock. There's a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Van Halen freaks, which yeah. I didn't know there was such a thing. But a lot of people wearing their Van Halen shirts, Van Halen sneakers, Van Halen tattoos. We have to find these Van Halen people and see if they would talk to us. Um, also, he's got a Van Halen shirt. He's got a Van Halen shirt right there. Oh, there he goes, rocking out, showing, showing off the shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, what song are you looking forward to the most tonight? Good question. I'm looking forward to... Wow. Um, I think like um, Pound Cake. I'm looking forward to Pound Cake. Uh, Judgment Day. That's a that's an album cut. You think but, he's going to play anything? What was his original band? Montrose. Montrose. Yeah, I think we'll get some Rock Candy or... Um, what's the other one they had? Um... Bad motor scooter, maybe that was that was Montrose. Think he'll play 55. I think I can't drive 55 is a no brainer. I think opener with it. Opener, no, no, it'll be deeper in the set. We're gonna get we're gonna get. I can't drive 55, and there's only one way to rock. Those are two. Those are Gagar. fucking. We're great. definitely getting those, no doubt, and probably and probably heavy metal. Remember that song? That's a good one too. I, I, those three from Sammy Solo would definitely get. Do you think he's gonna play any David era? <laughs> yes. Van Michael Anthony will be singing Dave era Van Halen. Oh, really? So Sammy won't even sing though. He he'll sing a little bit. And he used to with the band, but but it's Michael Anthony's time to shine. Ain't talking about love with Michael Anthony singing. And, and I and they're gonna do and I I think they're gonna do Panama. If they do Panama. You're gonna see me throw my underwear on the stage. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Because uh, I'm almost positive they're going to do that. <laughs> that would have been awesome. I went to see Van Halen in 95 with my friend Joe Murphy. What's up, Joe? He, Joe Murphy. Uh, so we were we were third row. And this was at Nassau Coliseum. And we were trying to think of things to throw up because girls were throwing their bras up. So I took my socks off. I threw my socks at Sammy Hagar. Made him laugh in the middle of the song. <laughs> Joe Murphy took money out of his pocket and threw $3 bills up. And Alex Van Halen came running to the stage and grabbed the dollar bills and put them in his pocket. <laughs> True story. Very cool. Well, I'm hoping that they play uh, 55, which I'm pretty sure they're going to play. I'm hoping they play all the Sammy great hits. And I'm looking forward to a Satriani solo. Satch Boogie. They're going to play. I, I, that's my prediction, too. They let Sat. I hope there's a Zeppelin tune in there somewhere, too. Oh, yeah. it's Jason Bonham. Bonham, baby. <laughs> Bonham, baby. This Bonham place is up. rocks. They got all sorts of food court. Well, you, you filmed that, right? The food court. Yeah, right? filmed the food court. This place is really cool. I guess got one thing to see. Bottoms up. How old are you? You're, you're young. Yeah, 21. 21? How did you even become a Van Halen fan? My father. Your father. Yeah. Do you care about Van Halen, or are you just here with your oh, no. I love, I love Van, Van Halen. I started playing guitar to them. No kidding. Yeah, so. All right, well, first off, what's your name? Michael. Michael, where are you from? Connecticut, Derby, Connecticut. Where? Derby, Connecticut. Uh, we're in New York, so we have no idea. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so who's from England? All three of you? Where in England? Cops Wells. Okay. South we, <coughs> I just, just this morning was talking to a friend of mine from Je Je Jeremiah? Je Jeremiah? 
Oh, Edmund, where are you from? Well, um, Huddersfield, too. Oh, what's Huddersfield? Huddersfield. Huddersfield. Oh, okay. Very yeah. nice. That's my family's okay. so, from Huddersfield. My family's what, from Huddersfield. Is that nice? No? <laughs> so, and, so what brought you guys aren't here just to see the show? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, that yeah. big Van Halen fan? But you're not. So you're you're just following these guys. No, but I said you can't go without me. Oh, okay. because you don't trust them. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No, you're right. Come on, it's near New York. There you go. Yeah, Absolutely. Days in New York. Come to the gig. Nice. Yeah. First time. Yeah. Not, first time here. No. Well, well first time here. in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. New York many times. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, and how does Van Halen's big over there? No. Oh, yeah. you no. 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 Didn't really. Yeah, I, never been massive. I have some fa yeah, friends over there. I've mentioned Sammy Hagar, and they have no Who? idea. Yeah. Yeah, and I, then I tell them Van Halen. They go, oh, yeah, okay, I've heard of that. Do they know David yeah. Lee Roth? Um, oh, do you? Yeah. David Lee is bigger? Yeah. They know don't like it. You don't like David Lee Roth? <laughs> Not even with Van Halen? No. <laughs> really? I'm surprised, because you're a Bowie fan, and, you know, David Lee has been rumored to, you know... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just nothing for me. Uh, not, but the songs are good. <laughs> you prefer, well, I do too, actually. I'm a, I, I, but I love the David Lee stuff too, but I, but I prefer the David Lee stuff. Yeah. All right. You can like both. What's of course the, you can. What's yeah. the issue? All right, tell us who you are and where you're from. John from... Or Jeff. Hey, or Jeff! All right, the governor's she took the ferry right over, right? There you go. Right. Tell us your names and where you're from. I'm Janessa Sorbo. From Waterbury. Waterbury, okay. I'm Mike from Waterbury. From Waterbury. Funny how that works out. Big Van Halen, Sammy Hagar guy? I'm not the biggest. Oh. Not the biggest. My friends are. My wife is. Oh, so I dig them. Oh. I dig them. So you're just here for the sex because you're digging your wife out. And she yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a music guy, right? So I just love Van Halen, you know, Sammy Hagar, I'm not going to miss it. Favorite band? The Beatles. Oh, uh, no. The Beatles, Beatles, without question. There you go. Without question. All yeah. time. Yep. All time. Billy, yeah. uh, and you mentioned Billy Joel. Billy Joel, big time Billy Joel fan. Yep. All see right. Them. So we met, we were talking to our new friends from England right over here before. Oh, awesome. This is what you're going to do. I, I'm giving you an assignment. Uh, I'll take it. Elio. E L I O. E L I O. Pace. Pace, okay. He's a musician in England. Yeah. He tours around oh, Europe amazing. doing a Billy Joel show. All right. So. That's oh, your assignment. No Check him out on YouTube. And stuff, I promise. And then set it up and interview him on Rambling with Ryan. I promise. So you interview? You have guests on I there, have right? Not. You I have, have not. I've had a lot of people ask me, "Why can't you let me on?" <laughs> well, why don't you? Just, why don't you do guests? I'll do that. I got oh. reason not to. Oh, I thought there was reason. No, so you, no, so no, no. Oh. Simplicity. Boom. Get on. Ramble. Get off. And is that like that's a conscious decision? Just ten minutes done? Yeah. If I go ten minutes, I don't want to lose people. Oh, I don't right. want to lose people because I do ninety. That's right. <laughs> and I do. I lose people. More yeah. than I, I think more than I gain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try to keep it short. You know, I don't know what people's patience are, but I, I want to keep them interested in whatever my topic is. Get it? I, I, I tell stories, and then it's got to it's got to wrap up with a with a conclusion. With this is my lesson for the week, whatever it might be. Uh -huh. That's my goal. Oh, so there's always a lesson. Oh, it's something something I learned this week. Oh, so you're sharing. That's deep. I'm can not. Be. Yeah, I'm not that deep. It can, it can be. The Hicksville education. That, you know, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, all right. So, when's the next time you're going to All American? That's the big question. Well, now you've inspired me. I'll have to go tomorrow. <laughs> that doesn't take much to no, inspire somebody no. to, all, to All American. Two, mi two miles away. I can get there right. easy. All right. Easy. Double double. The, uh, have you ever been next door with the? Uh, I have not. Oh, oh. I have not. I know they just changed the logo. Yeah. And I, re I realize how easy it is to get here, so I might, I might do that. It, it's easy to get here, and it's a nice, small yeah. place. Like, honestly, I love Jones Beach, but I think, I think I prefer this. It's smaller. It's nicer. That I'll report on afterwards. I'll <laughs> oh. let you know. First time here, but it looks cool. It really does. It does look cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Friday night's when at five. <laughs> What's your name, man? John Toro. John, where are you from? Long Island, New York. Long Island, that's where you're from. Oh, really? Where? Massapequa. Massapequa. Nice. Of, we're from Governor's Comedy Club in Levittown. Oh, really? Yeah, how you <laughs> doing, <laughs> brother? Love the... Uh, Came all the way from Massapequa. Let, let's see all this yeah, stuff here. This. this is the original 1984 tour shirt. Dude! Yeah. All the pins. To all it. original. You turn around, let's see the back. You got the 5150. That's hand painted, too. Yeah, who painted that? Did you, you do uh, it? Old friend painted it. Now you got the original, you even got the hairstyle, like, 
Did you just come like right out of 1986? Were you in the time warp? <laughs> Possibly. I just kind of came down. Look like everybody I went to high school with. Yeah, we just went back in time. And these guys too. Are you guys in a heavy metal band? What's going on? Yeah, wow, yeah. you guys all look yeah. amazing. Look at this. Look at this group. You guys all look amazing. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. Look at these. You got the, the necklace. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Dude, I had it. Wow. Check that out. Very nice. Very nice. Right, now, did, but you guys, what? You're in your 20s? 21. 21? Wow. 22? How did you guys, how does a how does 20-year-old get in the Van Halen these days? Well, my father and my uncle, my father sitting right next to me. You did nice. a nice job, good Dad. Good job, Pops. Nice job. Mom, you rock. Yes. Those are good parents right this there. That's awesome, yeah. So, and you... Oh, Rick Nielsen from Cheap Trick. Very oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, very and Where cool. was that? That was in uh, Cutting Room in Manhattan. Oh, right. with, uh, played room. with Rick Nielsen. And you played with Yeah, we played uh, The Flame, and he was, there, he was so happy playing How'd it. you pull that off? Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. We got a call oh, back. Oh, that wow. just yeah, that just happened, right? Yeah, yeah I went okay. to one in March. I actually played with Michael Anthony, oh, and sweet. they needed guitar players for this one, so they actually called me in to come and, and help out and jam. No so I just, kidding. And I had a great time. Is Michael right. Anthony as nice as he comes across? Oh, he's amazing. Look at that. Yep, that's me. Look at that. Wow, yep. very cool. There's me right here, and then yeah. there's uh, Rick, Rick Nielsen right yeah. there. We both have the same Les Paul. It was pretty cool. We both pointed at each other. We're like, hey, I Dude, got that same guitar. That's awesome, man. Yeah. What's the name of your band? Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice. Community Church in Babylon, New York. Nice. Nice. Babylon represent. Oh, yes. I am in the Blindside Tackle Band uh, also. I'm uh, oh, doing well, man. How about you? Very well, thank you. I've known Bob since 40 yeah, something years. School, yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's crazy. Very cool. Uh, and he still has better hair than me. <laughs> um, all right. So, so, what you got going on? Me and you, yeah, same yeah, blue. Yeah, looks, yeah. looks, looks good. Right. I'm having a great time. You going to the podcast guy? <laughs> Favorite Van Halen album? I would say 5150. Ooh, you're a Sammy over Dave guy. Yeah, I mean, it's I am know, too, newer. man. I am too. Yeah. Very, all right. Very proud of you, pal. Thanks. Van Halen what? I don't know. <laughs> Summer Nights? No, album. Right. Well, That's album. a good song. Right. 5150, but I, I guess say uh, Van Halen 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, you wait for two. Oh, that's a good one. Can you, can you narrow it down to just one? It's hard. I mean, How about any of you guys? It would be between 84 or... Diver Down. Diver Down. Good one. Diver Down was a lot of covers one. on that one. Yeah. How about you guys? You can't covers. just pick one. I love Good answer. women and children first. Every oh, song right. off that yeah. album is beautiful. So, all right. And then, awesome. uh, so, we, you're a David Lee Roth uh, girl or you yeah. don't care? He's my love. He's your love. <laughs> Does he know that? No, not yet. Not yet. If I had said Van Halen 3, would you all cringe? I, no, I, I thought that was a great tour. Sorry. I thought oh, Gary Sharon did a super it's job. Amazing. And he should have gotten a second album. Agreed. Predictions on the set list. What are they opening with? Tonight. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Good answer. Good call. Do you agree? Yeah. All right. And should I ask you or no? No, because I don't know any of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so what, what's your prediction? What's this? What's what are they opening with? What are they closing oh, with? Oh, I have a feeling knowing Sammy's gonna want to <laughs> open up with One Way to Rock. I think it'll probably uh, something from 5150. I would something think something from 5150. All right, like, uh, all right, come with a chicken foot song. Oh, that's yes. a weird opener. Yeah, that's a weird, no, okay. I, I don't know which one, but I have a feeling. Yeah, okay. I How mean, about? it makes sense. So. Uh, to you, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Satch. <laughs> Satch it's and a Van Halen show. Sammy. Yeah, but no, they're doing chicken football. It'd be nice if they did a rock show. Oh, uh, that'd be nice Joe if you Satch, Satch, that'd be tough one. Yeah. And Alan, Alan yeah. Alan with an erection. Oh, <laughs> Eric Guitar, he's playing eruption fans nice. right there. Well, if I was going to predict, uh, uh, could this be love? 
Oh, that's the opening? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know. I love that song, so I'm hoping. Open it with Good Enough. Okay. Ending with... We'll get Sammy Hamlin, the entrepreneur. Um, I'm going to say Jump as a group. That'd be awesome. Oh, what are they going to close with? That's a good question. What are they going to close with? Maybe uh, right now? Uh, all right. Oh, so it's a dreams or when it's love? That's my guess. Could be. Could be. Okay. When it's love is a little bit of a ballad. You need something a little more hype, but dreams would be good too. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of biased. I already looked at the set list. Uh, set list. You FM. I know, I know. Right. David Lee's nickname Diamond. <laughs> it's just eating, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I gave an answer though. Sammy's nickname Red Rocket. There you yeah. go. David Lee Roth's nickname Diamond Dave. <laughs> Diamond Dave. What the hell's the matter with you? I shouldn't be allowed here. <laughs> Sammy's nickname Red Rocket. There you go. All right. Uh, David Lee Roth's nickname. Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave. Yeah. Diamond Dave. Sammy's nickname? Red Rocker. There you go. David Lee Ross' nickname was or is? Diamond Dave. Sammy Hagar's nickname? Red Rocker. This guy's good. Come on. He, yeah. Sammy, uh, Sammy's nickname? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? No. David, you know David's nickname? No. Uh, Bob, you failed. <laughs> He's going to know. What's, the, what's David's nickname? Dave? Diamond Dave. What's Sammy's nickname? The Red Rocker. This guy's good. Come on. He's good. <laughs> give me a hard one. <laughs> give you a hard one. All right, fine. I'll give you a hard one. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Name the three songs that they recorded when they reunited with Sammy. First three or just three? The three they when they reunited with Sammy. Oh, they, they reunited. Ah. Yeah. All right, so I almost got you. All right, yeah. You Name. Got you don't know that? You can't name one of them? I'm sure when I hear one, I'm going to be like, oh, all right, but just putting it in that state. Well, you asked, you said, give me a hard one. I'm giving yeah, you a hard you one. Did, you did, can't did, name a, one of the one out of the three reunion songs. Can you name them? Probably not. Yeah. All right. See, we, you were about to win a million bucks, and now you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that close. Yeah. I was like, uh, oh, my God. Because <laughs> like, I love guitar play. No, I, lo I love guitar. I don't, I don't, Ask me I don't my favorite Bowie album. That What's your favorite better. Bowie album? Station to Station. Station to Station. Is that the album with fame on it? No, it's not. No. Right? That's Young Americans? Yes. Yeah? Do, really? I got that right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I love Young Americans too. <laughs> What's um, we Young Americans? <laughs> <laughs> not really. Uh, what's anyway, your favorite well, album? It's got to be 5150. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Or 1984. Uh, well, there you I go. love them both. Start asking yeah. what's your favorite Queen album. Yeah. Mm. How do you answer that? Uh, Night at the Opera, you might say. <laughs> Night at the Opera. Oh, uh, Day at the Races. Day at the Races. Yeah. Innuendo is good. It is. Yeah. 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 They made they made in fun. Heaven was good. The, the one they made after yeah. Freddie died? I yeah. like that. It's a good album. I met um, Brian May once. One of the only times I was ever starstruck. He was my client. What do you mean, client? Uh, uh, PR company. Uh, oh, PR okay. for Brian. How, how recent? Ten years ago, maybe. Yeah. More recent than that. More recent than that. Maybe eight years. So, Six, seven. So, oh, I don't know. Yeah. So if I... Do you know the band, too, or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because their yeah. current bass player is also a friend of mine. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. yeah, I was starstruck when I met him. Yeah. I really, I couldn't, I actually couldn't get words out. But isn't he the most down to earth Yes, guy? very, yeah. very nice man. Yes. I sat around his kitchen table having a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, really? talking to him as if I'd known him for years. Wow. There's no bullshit with the guy. Man. Yeah, yeah. very cool. He's just real, he's genuine. That's fantastic. Do you know I, I know who they are. I okay. couldn't tell you a single song, to be honest with you. Sorry. Okay, we're big Marillion fans. Oh, uh, okay. We travel the world. And that's. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's that's one of the big. Like they're not. They're not that big here. No. 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 And that, there's a lot of that. And they're not that big in the UK. Oh, is that right? Yeah. We have seen them in the UK. We have seen them in the UK. Dedicated fan base. Yeah, sure. We love okay. them. Very nice. Right. And we got an Iron Maiden fan. Yeah. 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 yeah so we're big fans. Oh, okay. And didn't um. What's his name? Have a stroke or something? Yeah. Have a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. Is he? Seems okay. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah. I, I, that, that's all I knew. That he had a stroke. I'm imagining some of the strongest yeah. songs that he can play the best. Uh -huh. Some of the complicated. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's still yeah. playing. Yeah. They're not adding a second drummer to help him out. That's why I said so. Yeah. So they must really hate him then. <laughs> My road to ruin is kicking in. I'm feeling nice. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost done with this. It feels good. Because uh, the woman said, the bartender said it would feel like two beers in one. Yeah, because it feels like 8% alcohol, where normal beer is like 5%. So it's like almost double. I think something bit me. Yeah, I just got bit by something. Really? Yeah, you feeling it too? Freaking fucking Connecticut. <laughs> All right, so Tony, right now we, we uh, 
have been here at this uh, Hartford Healthcare Amphitheater. Drunk. Having a blast here. We've got Stella, beers, freaking happening. I'm feeling pretty nice. And we also look look what Don got. Oh my god. Jason Bottom. Jason Bonham autograph drumhead. Bosey's watching. Hey, Bosey, how you doing? Bosey says, love you. We love Bosey. Anybody can love Bosey for 20 bucks. Bosey rocks, but he doesn't rock as good as a red rocker. <laughs> He's the, see, Sammy's the red rocker. Bosey's the red rocket. Like, I, the, like your dog had. I bet Bosey's had some red rockets. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, Bosey rocks, and uh, he should have been here too. He could have came out. We didn't invite him. That's right, you didn't. We didn't invite him. He wasn't Whoops. invited. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a blast. I'm uh, I'm already like four deep of these Stellas. So I'm feeling pretty nice right now. Oh, the show's about to rock. Start. He's getting ready. Jimmy Hagar. Let's see what he's coming out to. Let's see what he's coming out All to. All right. What do you predict? I say pound cake. I say 55. I can't drive 55. Let's All right, see let's see. Going. Hello, baby!
go, we sing every song with you. So, now you know how I feel in the morning. Don't fucking talk to me in the morning. I can't talk in the morning. These guys are all fucked up, but it was great. It made me realize how hard and how loud you people are singing every night. And it warms my heart, man. That guy sounds so fucking good. <laughs> to be singing my songs, you know, our songs, to be singing along with us. It's just, it's really, it's really touching and it's fucking great and I want to thank you for it. So, and at the same time, I'm going to put you to the test. This is a celebration. This tour is a celebration and a thank you to the fans from us. This is a thank you celebration tour. We're celebrating the music, all the music from my life. Your lives, our lives, the music that we grew up with, the music we wrote and sang, and it's a celebration, so. It's called the best of all worlds, too.
start getting fucking fat and shit. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah, we know that. We're shit. all clean
in the crowd. Now it's all shining, so I'll keep you guessing. Waiting for something. Coming to focus.
saw this shirt, we're like, oh, this is a true Van Halen fan right here. <laughs> this shirt, that's awesome. And he's got the 5150 hat. But it's, you know, but it's it's uh, conflicting here. So what do, you, what do you prefer, Dave or Sam? Both. Oh, oh good answer. Like Ready? how about that? Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Red 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 very nice. <laughs> Nerd Halen, baby. Nerd Halen. Go see him. I don't feel tough. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to rock. Red Rocker! He also coming up on uh, Governor Stages uh, August 3rd, Joey Cola. Uh, Thursday, August 8th, Mark David Hirschman is playing uh, here at Governors in Levittown. I'll, I'll be doing a few minutes on that show as well. Uh, August 17th, Mike Keegan and Hugh Murray and a bunch of other great comedians. That's going to be a great show. Uh, in September, the Brokerage in Belmore. Join Knock'em Dead Comedy for a fun murder mystery show. The very next night, right here in Levittown in the Giggle Room, Knock'em Dead Comedy performing uh, a triple X trivia night. But it's not going to be that triple X. Don't get crazy. It's <laughs> just going to be fun. Uh, Gov's, Comedy, Gov's Comedy Club Podcast presents the Down and Outs. With Claudia Sherman, Gretchen Comer, uh, Nancy Parker, and I'll be hosting that one. That's October 5th here in the Giggle Room. Uh, we also present, also in the Giggle Room on November 2nd, Mike Pacetti and Friends, Clash of the Burrows, Karen Krentz, Johnny McDonald. Headlining is that bastard Craig, Greg Criticos. Uh, and then, of course, uh, uh, in McGuire's in Bohemia, another fun murder mystery night with Knock 'em Dade comedy. Uh, and then this weekend... On a governor stage, one of the th four governor stages. Who, who do we got? Uh, Kristen Key, I think, is tonight. Colin Quinn is here this weekend. Steve Rocco, Travis Grant, DC Benny, Mike Tanzi, Allison Chadwick, Dan LaRocco, Ivory Fields, Brian Paul, and that son of a bitch bastard, Steve Burton <laughs> from General Hospital. <laughs> right, at 8 o'clock, the one and only Michael Loftus joins Don for Don Versations. That's tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Michael Loftus, you might not know the name, but if you're a fan of comedy, you know who he is. But I will tell you, that man has written and um, created uh, some of Kevin James' TV shows. He worked on the Angry Management, Anger Management TV show. He's that guy's been around, and he's uh, he's Don's guest. Never end, never end.